Welcome to the Social University Podcast. We are so glad you're joining us today because we want to help business owners, entrepreneurs, and people just like you who want to build their business online. Listen, if we can do it, you can do it. So let's go. Morning. Good morning. I'm Karen Taradis with Social U, and it's time for What's Up Wednesday, where we come to you live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. to talk about social media tips, tricks, and trends. All this month, we are talking about, what are we talking about this month? Let's see. Last month, we talked about cybersecurity. I cannot tell you how many people have come to me in the last two months with breaches, hacks, their accounts been suspended. Uh, Seriously, if you haven't seen that one, go back and listen to it. Change your passwords frequently. If you don't get anything else from last week, that. Change your passwords often and make them as complicated as possible. This week, we are going to talk about what is changed and new trends. And when I say that, I am referring to social media. Every single platform has a new feature that you need to be aware of. And there is one awesome, amazing thing that has come out that will revolutionize social media, blog writing that you definitely need to be aware of that I'm guessing you might not know about. And we're going to talk about it last. Next week, we're going to talk about how you can use lives to grow your business. The following week, we're going to talk about imposter syndrome, which is real. So very real. I think especially for female business owners, I think they struggle with it more than male business owners, just my opinion. And the last week of the month, we're going to do bonus Q&A so that you can ask anything you want to ask. So let's go ahead and get started today. I want to talk about updates, new players, new trends. In no particular order, I'm normally I'm a little retentive and I would alphabetize these. I did not do that. So let's start with Instagram. Again, Instagram needs to pick a lane because they are changing back to images instead of reels as their primary objective. What does that mean to you? It means more carousel, less reels. Although I haven't seen that transpire yet, we still get pretty decent interaction on our reels. I don't know if that's something that they're going to stick with. They just announced it recently, so you can't really stop doing short form video. I think it's just going to be a hide and watch situation where you pay attention to what you're doing, but don't stop doing what you're doing. (sighs) Changing the feed. You can now change your feed excuse me, you can now change your feed on Instagram so that you can eliminate a lot of the ads that are popping up. If you go to the upper left-hand corner and touch the Instagram logo, you can select following or favorites, and it will just considerably reduce the number of ads because now you're only going to see what you look at all the time or people you're actually following, and it will clean up that news feed for you, cleans up your experience. Number two, quiet mode has been recently introduced. It allows you to silence notifications for a specific day or time or length of time. You can preset a message that literally says you are away from Instagram and you'll contact them upon your return to Instagram. But if you are anything like me and the phone dings or your email goes off, you want to look at it. I think it's human nature to want to go look at whatever that is. So you can silence those notifications without turning them all the way off and then forgetting to turn them back on, which can be a whole problematic thing. So now you have quiet mode as an option. Number three, you can hide words to recommendations. I think this is fascinating because, okay, previously, excuse me, previously users could only hide comments or messages, but now they can hide words, emojis, hashtags, anything like that, that they want to avoid. For example, if a user hides the word recipe, Instagram will no longer allow them to see words, uh, videos that have the recipe in the caption or the hashtags. So big, big change. So if you're getting a ton of, let's say, Rothy's ads and you don't want to see that anymore, you can literally mark that word to stop and it will stop letting you see stuff that has the word Rothy's in it. Um, Number four, stars. Interesting. I love this. I love the concept of this. It's basically virtual monetary gifts for creators. And again, if you say real three times fast, it sounds like TikTok. TikTok's been doing this for a minute, but now Instagram's jumping on board. You can send basically money and rewards to creators that you think are worthy of monetary gifting. You send them a star. So if you're eligible, it will tell you on your professional dashboard. You go to your main account and there's a button that says professional dashboard. You click on it and it will tell you if you're eligible to get those stars so that people can send you money. And the last update, you can now comment with a GIF on a post. Um, Welcome to 2023 Instagram. You've been able to do that on every single (laughs) of 
perform for a year. But hey, better late than never. Thanks for joining the thanks for joining the now. Okay, let's go to the next platform. Facebook is next. And uh, the rest of the platforms don't have quite as many updates, but I think they're each critical in their own way. Facebook now has paid verification. This may be my favorite update of all time. You guys might be aware Twitter did paid verifications and a lot of unscrupulous or hackers use that opportunity to spend the $8 and pay for the verification check so that they could spoof uh, real accounts and wreak havoc. Facebook, you will actually have to be verified. They will check on that to make sure you are who you say you are. And the whole reason they're offering this is so you can have increased reach and search, excuse me, comments and the explore page. But most importantly, and I cannot stress this enough, it allows you to have live chat support. For anyone who's ever had an issue with Facebook or tried to deal with Facebook to have anything corrected, It is worth every penny that they charge to get access to the live chat support. So as a business owner, if that is something that is important to you, either team up with an agency like us who has access, sometimes when they decide they're going to put the button up and let you talk to them, or pay for the verification so that you can have access on your own. Number two, new group features including Reels are now available in groups, and there's more robust admin tools, which allows you to moderate your groups better, longer, faster. We built him better. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to the $6 million man. Um, And number three, messenger communities. It blends messenger and Facebook groups so that you can connect with more people around topics that you enjoy or have common interest. So um, I'm not as stoked about messenger communities as I am because, you know, if I wanted to communicate with you, I'd communicate with you in the group that we're in, but okay. Thank you for making that easier. Facebook paid verification. Cannot wait for the paid verification. All right, LinkedIn is our next platform. And again, this is to me the biggest thing since sliced bread. Post scheduling. Can I have an amen? They're rolling out post scheduling. Game changer for us. We do a ton of work on Instagram, excuse me, LinkedIn. And until now, we've had to go through a third party to be able to schedule that stuff. And sometimes they update or they change. It disconnects. So your posts don't go out or they'll allow you to schedule for a profile and not a page. Now LinkedIn is allowing you to schedule your posts on your profile through LinkedIn. I cannot, I'm so excited for this feature. I hope everybody has it. Number two, they are generating auto captions on videos. Again, super handy. Welcome to now. Facebook's been doing that forever. I'm I'm no, I guess no shade to LinkedIn, but now they're finally going to offer it. So you have that to look forward to where you don't have to generate your own captions on every video that you put up. And number three, improved options for job searches. They are now doing what's called personalized job collections. So if you are looking for a job in a specific industry, a specific location, it's more personalized to your search and it groups it in a way that makes it easier for you to look at that stuff. All right, TikTok. I'm sure this will surprise some of you guys. TikTok after 15 years, has overtaken Google as the number one website. Yeah, it has. It's knocked Google off the pedestal. And now, thanks to Gen Z, it is growing rapidly to become the number one search engine. It's right there with Google and YouTube. And it is the number one search engine for Gen Z, which is about, you know, what, 40% of the users on there use it as a search engine exclusively. So depending on your age, the way you look for information is very, very different. They are now, uh, and I mean now as in I just got this information in the last few minutes, they're introducing a paywall so that some creators can gatekeep information on TikTok on the platform so that you have to pay to have access to it. Again, I love that idea. It goes back to the star idea on Instagram where you can pay creators if you love their content. And I have several creators, pod, especially podcast folks. I have a couple of people on TikTok who I follow, financial people, and I have a couple of podcasts that I love that I feel like that content is so good and I'm getting it for free every week. Will I go to Patreon and pay $3 a month? You bet I will. So being able to do it directly in the platform, I think that's awesome. Now, I told you guys when we very first started, I would give you an update. Into, um, oh, excuse me. I have one more before we get to the big reveal. Magic Write in Canva. If you if you have been live for the last couple of years, you know what Canva is. And if you have been using Canva to generate captions for your, excuse me, graphics for your social media, 
you know what it is. Well, now they've been um, introduced. It's an AI. It's an artificial intelligence feature called Magic Right. So you can go into documents inside Canva and tell it, I want the top five staging tips for real estate. And it will auto-generate those bad boys for you. That is amazing to me. And then, of course, because it's the Canva platform, you can go in there and um, do a layout and make it graphically pleasing in your brand colors because you've already created that as a folder. It just really streamlines that entire process. So basically, it's a text generator that helps with first draft. Amazing, amazing tool. If you haven't played with it at all, go check it out on Canva. It's called Magic Write, and it's easiest to see it if you pull up a doc. So just check it out. Very cool. And that leads me to our final thing. If you are not, if you have not heard, if you have not signed up for, if you have not experienced yet, Chat GPT is going to revolutionize the way we write and the way that we consume and process information. It is basically an artificial intelligence website that generates information in a very different way than Google. It will actually write blog posts for you. I have been playing around with this. I signed up for an account as quickly as I could. And you can go in there and say, I would like a 500 word blog about why artificial intelligence is important to your business in 2023. And it will generate, you watch, just watch it. It just starts typing. Now is all of the information hundred percent correct? Mm, it's still in beta format. So that's questionable. Do you need to check it? Absolutely. It's still, it's not a person, it's artificial intelligence. So it's not going to speak the same way you speak. And it's definitely not going to speak in your voice, but to give you an idea about how quickly growing this is and how important it is, it took Netflix three years to hit a million users. It took Facebook 10 months to hit a million users. It took Spotify five months to hit a million users. It took ChatGPT five days, five days. And in two months, it has 100 million users. And it's still in the beta format. Now, when you go to sign up for an account, it is free. There is no cost. So you can go in there and sign up and play around with it and see what works for you. But because it's so busy and because it's growing so quickly, sometimes it'll say, you can't sign up right now, we're full. Give it a day, give it an hour and go back and try it again and it, it'll allow you entry. So don't be surprised if you go to sign up and it makes it, it makes you wait a minute. It, there's a lot going on there. And I, it, it's amazing to me. You can literally say, you can use it for anything. You can go in there and say, I have these four ingredients. Give me recipes for dinner where I can use these four ingredients. You can pull song lyrics. You can, but to me, of course, the best and one of the most cool things you can do is blog write or article write or use it to write a white paper or a checklist or a questionnaire. It'll do all of that stuff. Yes, you do need to verify it to make sure it's correct. Yes, the information needs to be, you know, double checked. And of course you want to tweak it so that it's in your voice, but it streamlines the process so much faster, so much easier. Get ready because I think it's going to be huge. And if you haven't experienced it yet or tried it out, now is the time to do that. Okie doke. That is it for me today. Thank you guys for joining us live for updates and new players. I will be back again next week. Um, what's the date next week? March the, what's the date next week? March the 15th? Yeah, it is March the 15th. That's Wow, March is basically gone. That's shocking and horrifying. We're going to talk about why go live. I'm, I'm going to talk about it on every platform, not just Facebook or not just Instagram. I'm going to give you stats and information on each platform, the benefits of going live and why you should consider implementing it in your marketing plan. Until next week, I am Karen Taratis with Social U and I'm here to help. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for the Social University podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media at Stay Social U. That's the letter U. And we will talk to you next week. Remember, you've got this.